Good afternoon, everyone. Very welcome to our webinar. And a great good morning to those of you who are joining from Europe. I'm Yuri Terikomado, country representative for Europe South Japan. Let me greet our speakers today. Uh, Susanna Shirok, Chief Re Representative of the State of Bavaria and J the Japan Office. Uh, Sakiko Kitamura, Director, Business Support Department, Saitama City Foundation for Business Creation. And uh, Frank Niermeister, Senior Project Manager Healthcare by an Innovation Company. Let me also greet my um, colleague, Tatsuya Maisava from Kobe, who is also a country representative of Eurexas Japan. So what can you expect today in this webinar? Well, this particular series, the Shinkansen Roadshow, is uh, a webinar series that focuses on EU-Japan cooperative partnerships. We aim to provide researchers, businesses, research institutions, as well as the wider public, with new opportunities and inspiration for EU-Japan collaboration. So today's event is basically um, a best practice introduction that showcases the flourishing cooperation between Bavaria in Germany and Saitama in Japan. This is a prime example of EU-Japan cluster to cluster collaboration. So let me just um, give the word to our first speaker who's going to introduce the state of Bavaria as a successful business location, overview of the cluster initiative. So dear Susanna Shirok, if you could please proceed with your presentation. Thank you. I hope you can all see my slides. So um, yes, have you heard, um, my name is Susanna Shirok. Since uh, September last year, I'm the chief representative of the state of Bavaria uh, here in Tokyo, Japan. So um, yes, first of all, I would like to give you some numbers about Bavaria so that you can get an overview of um, yeah, our numbers in Bavaria and size and all that stuff. And then I will give you like an overview of our clusters in total and some other organizations. And in the end, of course, I will tell you what our office here in Tokyo is doing. So um, yeah. You can see on the map, the Varia is located in the heart of Europe and by area, we are the largest state within Germany. And we have around 30 million inhabitants in Bavaria at the moment. So our unemployment rate is very low. This can be very good, but on the other hand, can be difficult sometimes if you are uh, looking for new people. But the good thing is that we have so many um, uh, high elite universities in Bavaria so that it's also easy to find some good students if you are looking for employees. So our GDP is the second highest within Germany and um, we also have a very high purchasing power. So it's approximately 30,000 euros at the moment. So ranking number one within Germany. Bavaria is very successful as a business location. We have 11 out of 40 German blue chip companies that decided to set up shop in Bavaria. Um, over 30% of all patent applications are filed in Bavaria. We uh, also have a high number of businesses that are being funded in Bavaria. And um, also we have a net migration. So people like to live in Bavaria. This is why um, yeah, people are moving to Bavaria from other countries as well as from Germany. We even have 37 of the 50 world's most innovative companies in Bavaria, which um, makes it very easy to do business. So this is a first, uh, just a glimpse of the companies that are located in Bavaria. Of course, large global players, all of you have heard of, for example, Amazon, Google, but we also have uh, smaller companies like um, uh, Lyft or, of course, uh, LinkedIn is also located in Bavaria and some famous German companies or Bavarian companies like Siemens and Scheffler are also in Bavaria. So due to our location in the heart of Europe, you can reach over 500,000 customers just by jumping in your car or taking the train and take a, like a three hour drive and all the companies that might be relevant for you are located in the vicinity. Um, the, the, there's a study that came out, it's called like the Prognos study, and they have uh, 
they rated different categories and these categories include the demographic development, job market, competition and innovation, as well as prosperity and social situation. And they have come to an all over um, result, which means that the southern part, especially Bavaria, is very prosperous in the future. So the top four urban and rural districts all over Germany are in Bavaria. Why are we so successful in Bavaria? Not only due to the fact that we have many SMEs, many hidden champion, champions, a very large, of, a large number of corporate companies, we also have the so-called Bavarian Cluster Initiative. And this is what we are here to talk about today. So the overall cluster initiative consists of 17 clusters, which promote a cooperation between companies, R&D partners, and organize special branch events. And they also bring together um, smaller companies. So they very much emphasis on, on technology and industry. And it was initiated by the Bavarian government in 2016. Here you can see the different fields of business where we have our so-called clusters. So the one we will talk about later is in the medical technology field, but we also have automotive, of course, because Bavaria is the largest automotive location within Germany. We also have mechatronics automation and of course, environmental technology. So the service spectrum of these clusters is quite broad. They are the clusters offer networking, technology scouting, qualification, um, research development projects. Um, they help you when it comes to the um, access of funding instruments, even the EU funding instruments, the German funding instruments, as well as the Bavarian ones. And they support when it comes to access to foreign markets. Yeah, so with different um, instruments, for example, delegation trips, or you can join a trade fair in Germany or abroad. But my colleague who will speak later will give you more in-depth uh, details of how exactly the clusters are working. But Bavaria is not only very proud of its um, uh, cluster initiatives or the 17 clusters, we are also very proud that the federal government appointed um, so-called hubs within Germany. So the digital hub initiative was um, implemented by the federal government a few years ago. And um, these hubs are more on the, they are more promoting the digital innovations. And as you can see on this map, we are um, proud to have like three hubs within Bavaria. So the first one is the, the so-called digital health hub in Nuremberg Erlangen, which is north of Munich, as you can see on the map. And we do have two hubs, the mobility and the InsurTech hub uh, located in Munich. Um, as I said, these hubs are focusing very much on, on uh, the digitization and they comprise of several um, members that work together in different projects. So here you can see the large companies that are member of the digital hub mobility. Bavaria is a very traditional uh, InsurTech tech or like an insurance location. So this is why we are also very happy to have the InsurTech hub in Munich. And um, as you can see in this InsurTech hub, it's also a network that um, works in the field of digitization. There's also a Japanese one of the, I think it's two Japanese uh, insurance companies that are member here. Unfortunately, everything is very small, but I can send out the presentation later. So then I think it will be easier to see. <clears throat> and um, as we also have our, as you will hear later, we have our so-called med medical technology cluster in the area of Nuremberg Erlangen, as I said, north of Munich. And this area has also been appointed the digital health hub. But Bavaria is not also um, known and um, successful in the field of business. We also know how to enjoy life. So just a few impressions. Of course, everybody knows Schloss Neuschwanstein, the castle Neuschwanstein, um, and we have many lakes and um, yeah, mountains. And of course, culture is very important for us in Bavaria. So we like to enjoy our free time. We like to go to the beer gardens and all that uh, stuff. So it's a very nice place to live as well. So just a few 
sentences of what our office here in Tokyo does. So our main focus is to support Japanese companies in entering the Bavarian market and of course, bringing Bavarian companies to Japan. So we, um, yeah, we go to trade shows, trade fairs. We, we, have, um, we have access to a great network. We hold events, we take a part in events and um, we are very much looking into the companies that are a good fit um, from Bavaria in Japan and the other way around. And this, of course, we do together with the help of our clusters. And um, <clears throat> we do our, our service is uh, free of charge, of course, because we belong to the Ministry of Economic Affairs in Bavaria. So we can bring you together with relevant contacts, partners, companies, organizations, and networks. Just reach out and we are very happy to support you. And um, yeah, I'm open for questions later or yeah, you can just in the end, drop me an email. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Shirok, for your presentation. And it was the comprehensive information about current status and creative in the, uh, initiatives of Bavaria Industries. So from here, I will take over. My name is Tatsuya Maisawa from Euraccess Japan. Uh, before we invite the next speaker, I would like to remind you that we will have a Q&A session after all the presentations. Please submit your questions through the Q&A box in your control panel. Okay. So next, uh, we would like to invite Ms. Sakiko Kitamura, uh, Director of Business Support Department at Saitama City Foundation for Business Creation. Uh, she will talk about the, uh, the presentation titled as Since 2011 and Beyond, the collaboration between Bayern and Saitama. Okay, uh, Kitamura-san, please go ahead and share your slides and start the presentation. Thank you. Okay, let me share my screen. Great, let's start. Hello everyone, I'm Sakiko Kitamura from Saitama City Foundation for Business Creation. I'd like to give a presentation about the partnership between the states of Bayern and Saitama since 2011 and its future. First and foremost, I'd like to give a brief introduction about Saitama City. Saitama City is the capital city of Saitama Prefecture. Population is 1.34 million. It's located north of Tokyo. Saitama City is just 30 minutes from Tokyo or Shinjuku Station by local train. Six Shinkansen stop at Omiya Station in Saitama City. It's a gateway to northern Japan. With its developed railway and expressway networks, as well as a great QL reputation, Saitama City is fast growing into a desirable place to live and work. Actually, I've lived there happily for over 40 years myself. Also, we have two professional football team in Saitama City, and the World Cup was held in the Saitama Stadium in 2002. This is the outline of Saitama City Foundation for Business Creation, SFBC for short. SFBC was established in 2004, funded by Saitama City. And uh, SB, uh, we are supporting companies in Saitama City and our mission is accelerating Saitama City industrial policies. So we are focusing on medical and healthcare devices, mechatronics, AI, IoT, automobiles, robotics. Also open innovation, DX implementations, new businesses and support for leading and promising cutting edge companies. Saitam City has several well-known leading edge companies such as Ally Helmet, famous for protecting the lives of races, Tamron, which was originally a camera lens companies that recently found success in medical lenses. Why did Saitam City start working with the states of Bayern? We think that local innovation, uh, local economic revitalization is crucial for the sustainability of Saitama City. If business activities do not innovate and evolve, 
they will inevitably shrink. New perspectives create diverse innovations and develop new markets. With regard to this, we recognize that we must promote joint development with foreign company and institutes. We must foster internationally competitive companies and also to support Saitam companies for internationally competitive company and also to support Saitam company for development of overseas markets. Therefore, in 2011, we applied for the JETRO Regional Industry Tie-Up Project and were selected. Before applying for RIT, we researched more than 20 potential partners globally. We finally decided the states of Bayern in Germany due to the following reasons. Germany has many SMEs similar to Japan, with many of them known as hidden champions, already mentioned Shirok-san. And Bayern is known for many things, such as its excellent industrial clusters, such as Mete Pharma, Bayern Innovative, and its university and institute with numerous corporate collaborations. Everything else aside, Saitama people know and love well the states of Bayern for their football team, automobiles, and of course, beer. This is a collaborative effort between Bayern and Saitama during JETRO RIT project. The Saitama side visited Bayern six times with 32 participants in total, with most of them being companies. On the Bayern side, they visited Saitama six times with a total of 22 participants. At these times, Saitama companies were able to obtain new ideas and fresh perspectives that are generally unheard of in conservative, old-fashioned Japanese industries. This brought on a positive impact on the in motivation and sales of Saitama companies. These fruitful exchanges result in MOU signed in 2014. Saitama City and SFBC signed an MOU with Cluster Mechatronics and Automation and Ihaka Nuremberg. Ihaka is a Chambers of Industry and Commerce in 2014 in the mechatronics field. In the same year, we signed an MOU with Bayer Innovative Frank Sands. Trusted and Mete Pharma in the med medical device field. About our partnership, fortunately, many institutes such as JETRO and Invest in Bavaria, Bayern states, are supporting us for a smooth and fruitful exchange. Successful collaboration with the clusters has expanded to a city to city partnership. In 2019, the mayor of Saitama visited Nuremberg and signed an MOU with Nuremberg City. What has the Bayern partnership brought to Saitama's industrial ecosystem? We realize a notable characteristic of German clusters. Many universities and institutes successfully cooperate with companies, which result in those technologies being implemented and used in those industries that result in high international competitiveness of German companies. However, this is lacking in Japan in comparison, especially in the Saitama region, as they to say. We realized our glass ceiling regarding innovation management as individuals, and thus became aware that the ecosystem is important and we must strengthen exchanges, not only with universities, institutes in the city, but also throughout Japan and overseas. To promote in industrial ecosystem in Saitama, we have strengthened programs such as subsidy, support by coordinators, and provide more opportunities for students to implement their tech in companies. Outcomes and synergies. Cluster Mechatronic and Automation and FAPS. FAPS is an institute at the Friedrich Alexander University. 
invited SFBC to apply for a joint project about AI. It was necessary for us to find the university and five companies as the joint project members. We selected and invited Saitama University and five suitable Saitama companies for the project. The project name was uh, project name was Mijoin. Mijoin was selected as a research network for funding through the German government. During two-year period of Mijoin, both the Bayern and Saitama team visited one another and shared their knowledge. These photos were taken during the Mijoin events. Member of companies of me join a Saitama company and the Würzburg University startup, the name is Instrunext, started to do business together about the AI system and won a Japanese METI grant. Another synergy of me join is learning AI accelerated DX in Saitama region. Continuing on this topic, we gained the latest information on technology and supply chains. Please look at the photos through clusters, universities, one-on-one seminars. Saitama company have made progress in improving their technology and understanding market demands. This led to Saitama city companies gaining a higher international competitiveness. Thanks to Mete Pharma and Bio Innovative, Many Saitama companies have newly entered the medical device market and succeeded globally. Medtech Pharma and Bio Innovative is always giving us the market information in Germany and opportunity to get insights for Saitama companies. Saitama City continues to participate in the event in Germany, such as Medtech Summit, Compamed, for over 10 years and have stands in Medtech Pharma Pavilion in Medica since 2017. In addition to outcomes and synergies, the exchange with cluster developed into an exchange with Nuremberg City. The mayor of Nuremberg and the Ihaka CEO, as well as researchers and experts about medtech and hydrogen visited the mayor of Saitama City. By producing promising results and finding new approaches from clusters, our partnership continues on for more than a decade and it has been able to significantly exceed the Japanese government's usual runtime of three to six years. We promise to further deepen our bonds. As you can see from the chart on the right, Saitama's population and business inflow continues to grow. As for the population of Saitama City, it's growing at the rate of 10,000 people per year. I like to finish this presentation by discussing the path future aim for expanding the partnership between Bayern and Saitama and our role in it. We like to continue to strengthen our partnership with Bayern to boost local businesses and the economy. We like to travel and meet face-to-face -face and revitalize efforts to connect in person this year. We've already visited Nuremberg last month to talk about future joint projects, about business education programs, business matching with startups, and content about next generation technologies, as well as participate in Medtech Live with T4M, which was held in Nuremberg. Nuremberg Messe. In November, the representative of Saitama City and our foundation will visit Nuremberg again. We'd also like to support Bayern companies interested in Saitama and Tokyo. In conclusion, capitalizing on what we have learned from the partnership with the state of Bayern, we want to increase Saitama's international competitiveness. 
we like to continue sharing strong point with each other and engage in friendly competition with Bayern. We look forward to this exchange continuing to contribute to the development of both regions. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the of Merksamkeit. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Kitamura. Uh, it was very uh, informative presentation covering all the overview of the collaboration. And we could learn that Saitama City is very eager and enthusiastic to foster partnership with Bavaria. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, participants for today's webinar might have uh, several questions. So if you have any questions, please put in the Q&A panel in the uh, Q&A box in the control panel. Okay, thank you very much. For the next presentation, we have invited Dr. Frank Miermeister, Senior Project Manager Healthcare, Bayern Innovative Genbeha. Uh, his presentation is titled as Saitama Bavaria, 12 Years of Successful Cooperation, Partnership, Friendship. So uh, Dr. Miermeister, floor is yours. Thank you very much for the invitation to speak on, on this event, very honored. And I would like to give you a short information from, from my side on how this uh, partnership has been going on, how's it working, what the results are and what the learnings are. And so thank you very much for the opportunity. So I'd like to start with introducing uh, Bayern Innovative. Uh, so we are the uh, yeah, innovation agency of the free state of, of Bavaria. So we are not only uh, we are not only um, in, in the healthcare sector, but we're also doing mobility, material and production, energy, digitalization, and, and, and other important areas where we are active and trying to support um, Bavarian SMEs mainly uh, in being innovative and to bring good ideas to the market. Um, in a nutshell, um, so Bayern Innovative has been uh, founded in 1995. So almost 28 years ago, and it's definitely um, a success. It was a um, future initiative of Bavaria that, that funded it then. Um, we are a limited company and an organization for innovation, technology, and knowledge transfer. And we have an, uh, an annual revenue in the meantime with more than 30 million euros. So mainly institutionally funded, uh, but also with project funding uh, from EU, from, from, from German, Fundings, but also from from orders for things we do for for our network members and, and partners. Um, so uh, we have more than three hundred employees uh, spanning all the different industries and technologies I already mentioned, and we have a, a, a large base of, of of customers or network partners. So our network uh, comprises of more than thirty two thousand companies worldwide, um, and in these companies, of course, we have different. Uh, contacts, persons for, for different aspects, like in R&D, uh, development, product management, regulatory affairs, stuff like that. So it's uh, over 25,000 active contacts that really contribute to our network and our, of course, gives us a lot of possibilities. Um, so what we do is, is kind of shared between two aspects, or you could group it that way. So one is uh, the end-to-end -end or one-to-end services. So these are networks or clusters in the different areas already mentioned and the other is the one-to-one -one services so this is our consulting and support division so this is about a sponsorship about uh, patents about innovation management marketing and all that stuff so these are the two basics of, of, of our work so the end-to-end -end, big networks uh, big uh, clusters and the other is one-to-one -one, really individually um, yeah, support for, for our SMEs and our network partners. Um, so we connect, support, and advise the Bavarian companies as the um, officially uh, innovation agency of the free state of Bavaria in the different aspects already, already mentioned, so we can go over. And I would like to, to go into the details now about the healthcare sector and of our uh, 12 years successful cooperation partnership and I would call it a friendship between Satama and Bavaria. So just a few numbers about healthcare economy in, in Bavaria. 
So the healthcare uh, industry is really, really big in Bavaria. So it it's ma makes 22.2 uh, of the overall economy. And regarding uh, people working in the healthcare industry, it's 173,000 that are employed. Uh, and this is more than it's almost 15% of all overall economy. And also, if you look at the average annual growth rates, um, this makes it, uh, yeah, makes it a very important factor for the economy. And as already mentioned, we have a lot of, of, of cluster initiatives. Um, so so Sunny Shirok mentioned a lot of clusters we have in different uh, areas of, of industry and now focusing on, on the healthcare and health tech. So we have a, a Medical Valley and, and the DMAC. So this is the, the hub for, for digital health in, in, the, in the metropolitan region of, of Nuremberg. We have uh, Barn Innovative um, with the two sub-branches like the Forum Medtech Pharma, so this international network, and the Center for Digitalization in Bavaria, also located in Nuremberg. And for example, BioM, um, the cluster for biotechnology, and uh, so located in, in Munich. So there's a lot of, of clusters and network really active, and we were all working together and, and giving each other support in the, in the different aspects. So it's really a close cooperation also between these clusters. And I think this is very crucial for success that you don't see each other as competitors, but as, as partners and giving our SMEs, but also our international partners the, the best uh, way and then the best uh, contacts within Bavaria. So what are we doing within our, our network for Ometech Pharma? So it's uh, approximately 500 members within our, our network and worldwide from 12 countries. Um, as already mentioned, also from from Japan, so Satama City Foundation is is a partner since many years and is, is taking part in a lot of our activities. And, and our topics are usually according to the individual needs of our members. So our mission is to promote innovation through networking and, and knowledge transfer. So this is our our main aspects, and our fields of action usually come with a national strategy process, events and corporations. And as already mentioned, our business areas uh, tries to cover the whole broadness of, of healthcare industry, like manufacturers, of course, industry that really produces medical technology, but also suppliers, service providers, and of course, also hospitals and uh, practitioners who are really, uh, yeah, very important in, in that kind of industry because they are, have to use the, the, the products and they are one of our drivers for, for innovativeness. And so it's very important to also have hospitals, health insurance companies and researchers within the network and have very fruitful uh, cooperation and dialogue with them. So this is all very technical. So I would like to give you an example, like, just like a best practice, uh, which may open your eyes and what we're really doing al alongside the innovation um, chain, you might you might call it. So um, so this is one example. So how can we uh, provide a, a surgeon with a third arm? So this is one of a, because innovation usually starts with a, with a question or with an unresolved problem. And uh, so this was the, the idea behind this, uh, yeah thing here. So we had the, the company Actormate and they said, okay, it might be very useful. So in, in exchange with, with surgeons and with industries and, and with practitioners, um, they learned that uh, during surgical procedures, of course, a surgeon never has enough arms because he has instruments. He has, uh, of course, the surgical equipment uh, to have in his hands and his overview. So of course, it would be a nice IT to have an additional arm just to, to keep things going and just to to help with the with the with the with the surgical procedures, so we did with them in the in the beginning. So when it comes to technology management and innovation management, we do the market screening. Okay, what is already on the market? What could help? What are really the problems of the surgeons? So uh, we did some innovation workshops together with the, the university context we had, for example, with the University of, of Munich. Um, and, and they then kind of designed uh, a new product that they needed. And then we also accompanied the, the transfer and the technology boards. And of course, also then the research and development where, of course, cooperation partners had to be, had to be found 
uh, where corporations had to be established and um, of course in this stage financing and funding is also an issue so we help the company Actromate with, with finding business angels and uh, European funds, Bavarian funds uh, that supported them in their research and, and development phase. And then so in the last uh, uh, sector timeline, um, there is um, technology marketing and innovation marketing. Of course, when we have a prototype, then of course, it's important to let the world know. So you have to go to, to exhibitions. And as uh, Kitamura-san already told you, um, we have a common booth at the Medica, for example, the Compamate, and also at the Medtech Live, the Nuremberg Congress, which is oh, on, yeah, is uh, in, in in May or June every year. So they partner with us and have there the, the possibility to to show their innovations to the to the broad audience. And of course, we also supported them with studies and publications. We gave them places and in, in seminars where they could uh, present their solutions and get further input of course from the from the members in the audience and uh, we invited them to innovation congresses to to go on with their ideas and of course in this whole um, area here we also took them to, to Japan to Saitama where they found a, a corporation partner with a Mikami um, a small and medium-sized uh, company from the Saitama region and they found a supplier there for really high quality uh, products and, and uh, parts they needed to, to bring their idea to life. And so this is really a good example of how and, and what we are doing, how we're supporting our network partners along the whole time from the first idea to market access and all, all the different aspects. And of course, it's also a good best practice example for the cooperation between Satama and Bavaria as really we're able to, to bring uh, companies together and they had then contracts and um, Mikami supported uh, Actromi with necessary parts for their for their innovation. So I think that is a good idea there and shows how the yeah, cooperation really is, is fruitful for, for everybody. So what about um, the cooperation between Zatama and Bavaria in general? So um, Kiramura-san already told you about the beginnings. So this is just from, from my side, maybe one or two other aspects to it. As already mentioned, it was initiated by Chetro's RIT program in 2011. So this is a, yeah, a program that has been conducted since 2007 to promote industrial exchange and, and business match between local industry and clusters and in, in Japan and overseas ones. And yeah, Foromatic Pharma Bavarian Cluster Mechatronics so this was originally uh, located in, in, in Augsburg in southern Bavaria. This is now also under the roof of, of Bayern Innovative. So they were selected by Satama's partners and Kiramura san already informed you about the, the reasons uh, why Bavaria was uh, chosen. And uh, yeah. So what did we do then? So our first activities were, of course, the participation of a Japanese delegation to a one-on-one -on -one forum in June 2011 to to start this whole uh, cooperation to, to bring the first, first action in, into it. So one in one forum is just like a speed dating between companies. So you, 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 you told us uh, what you have and what you need, and we try to find uh, suitable matches. And then we uh, yeah, brought 100 companies together in, in one big room, we closed the doors, and then they have the opportunity to um, have a short talks, ex exchange of business cards at the least, but Sometimes it even went uh, further and the first cooperation ideas were, were discussed. So this is really a, a good idea to bring people together to learn a lot of um, people, especially if you're new to the country, to the market. It's really excellent to have something like that. And then in, uh, in return, also in 2011, we had a delegation from Satama to Bavaria in autumn. So we had a flying start. We didn't talk long and, and try to prepare things. We just started right away to send people back and forth and to, to bring life to this cooperation. And then, since then, we had annual delegations to Satama with uh, SMEs from the Bavarian side and scientific institutes, of course, uh, with the aim to visit interesting companies and institutes from the Satama region to exchange ideas and, and learn about uh, potential business contacts. Um, we took part and, and presented also at the annual medical monosukuri in Saitama and other events where we have the opportunity to present ourselves, our, our network and the possibilities we could offer. 
to, to the Japanese companies. And as we have already seen uh, in the snapshots of, of Kirimura-san, so we had meetings with the representatives of Saitama and Bavaria to further deepen this uh, cooperation and, and, and cooperation. Um, other things were annual delegations, of course, from Saitama to, to Bavaria to either the one-in-one -one forums. So this was very successful. So we kept on going with that or the medical conferences like MedTech Summit or, or MedTech Live. And also, of course, um, Satama companies participated in our common booth at, at Medica or Compamate, those are the world's biggest uh, trade fair for, for medical industry in Dusseldorf uh, every November. And as already mentioned, in July 2014, there was a, a signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Satama uh, region or Satama uh, and, and Bavaria, or especially Satama Business Creation Foundation and uh, Bayern Innovative. And I have a few impressions from that. So on the left side, you see one of the first delegations to Satama in 2012. So, and uh, on the very right side, you see Dr. Matthias Scheer um, with, from Bayern Innovative. And the second to right, uh, this is the CEO of ActorMate. And he was very interested there, as already mentioned. Um, they found Mikami as a, as a corporation and a research and development partner there. So this was a very good good thing there. So um, in 2014, we have the signing of the MOU in, in Nuremberg with the CEO of Bayern Innovative, the CEO of, of Formatic Pharma, um, the deputy mayor of Satama City uh, came over and Mr. Yamagata, chairperson of the Satama Foundation for Business Creation also was attending. And then on the right side, you see, you see myself um, during one of the other delegations that followed a uh, delegation to Satama in February 2017, where we met the then Bavarian representative to Japan, so the predecessor of, of Susanne Shirok, Christian Geltinger, and also then a, a meeting with the mayor of Satama City. Um, so just to give you a few impressive things, a very nice and interesting pictures that shows that really, uh, really very successful and, and fostering cooperation. And this is a good basis for, for the cooperation in the future. So a few learnings from, from my side and what we learned through this 12 years of, of cooperation and, and, and friendship. So there is a good basis for cooperation between Japan and Bavaria. As already mentioned, um, we have the same approach to, to quality, to reliability. We're very open-minded. And I think that's very important if you try to learn new people, new culture, so open-mindedness, I think, is, is very important. And this is uh, one of the, that's a good basis that is there. On the other hand, of course, it takes time. So you have to take your time. You can't expect to just fly over, shake a few hands, and then have a very successful project running. And there is, of course, a language and culture. There are different regulations. There is an innovation approach that has to be followed. And um, so you have, you have to be aware that you have to really focus on on the approach there and really take your time and make everything very in a high quality. I think this is more, more important than speed, especially when it comes to, to long lasting corporations and, uh, and friendship, of course. So, and of course you have to know what you have and what you seek. And this is true for, for both sides. So as well, the Bavarian side, as well as the Japanese side, um, you have to know what you have, what is special with your product, your idea, and what can you offer? And, and on the other hand, what do, what do you need? Um, and I think to for that, I think the network support from SFPC and FMP, this is very essential. And I have to give a big thanks to, to Kitamura-san and, and her staff at, uh, at Satama City because they always take a very long time to, to dig deep into the companies and see what might be a good match, what might be a good interest, what might be a good starting point for a discussion. And I think this is very essential for success and, and really have to, to do this. And thank you very much that you have done this for all these years. I think this is one of the, the key success points uh, for, the, for the friendship here. Um, yeah, I would like to, to end with a short glimpse into the future. Um, of course, we know regulations evolve, um, MDR, IVDR, and this will become even more challenging. So, and of course, in the past, we had uh, the COVID-19 pandemic situation. It was very hard because, of course, this kind of, yeah, did not really foster the, 
travels between Japan and, and, and Bavaria. So we had to make a little um, stop there, a little pause. And of course, the regulation issue, this now, uh, yeah, with the MDR and the IVDR, this, um, yeah, has a lot of, yeah, money and time for, for a German SME. So if we talk to them and talk about, yeah, going to Japan, entering new markets, they right now are kind of saying, yeah, okay, we have time now in the few, few years uh, later. So between 19 and 22, the last two or three years, it was very hard because they had to fight with, with COVID-19 and then supply chains and the regulations that really fell into this uh, time. And But I think now is a good time to really keep it going and, and, and uh, start again um, delegations and trying to look for cooperation partners. So I think this will be a good idea to, to keep this going. Um, important, I think, uh, is to have in mind that companies are now less looking for delivery of parts, but for delivery of solutions. So they're not looking for a special small type they, they need in, in their big machines, but they're searching for development partners instead of suppliers. So this makes a little bit of an exchange, another aspect uh, to that. And as already mentioned, agencies and networks like Satama Foundation for Business Creation and Informatic Pharma or Bion Innovative will be an important factor in the future to give support and orientation in this worldwide growing market. Yeah, and to, to close it, so we are looking forward to working together in the future and further deep in our cooperation and friendship and are looking very forward to to talk with, with Kitamura-san and uh, Shirok-san on how we can keep going and get even better in the future. I'm looking forward to that and give a big thank you to both of you. And yeah, thanks for your attention. And I think I can give now back to Tetsuya-san for the Q&A. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Miermeister. Uh, he gave an insight into the sp specific sector, namely healthcare, but also the best practices of Saitama Bavaria co uh, collaborations. And it was very impressive that you uh, he called this partnership as a friendship. So uh, I think it's a uh, very deep connections to each other. Uh, thank you very much. So now we had all um, uh, we had all the presentations covered, and we'd like to go into the Q and A session. Uh, just a reminder: you can still ask questions to the speakers. Uh, please submit your questions through the Q and A box in your control panel. So let me check uh, if there are any questions. I, okay. So uh, there it was a question originally to Ms. Shirok, but uh, <laughs> uh, Ms. Shirok recommended to uh, that uh, maybe Frank San can answer to this question. Okay, uh, so the question is, how long did it take to sign the MOU with Saitama from the start of negotiations? What were the potential pitfalls that had to be discussed on both sides? Frank San, can you answer to this question? Um, I'm afraid I cannot, um, because I just came to um, Barn Innovative um, when this was already ongoing. And so they signed it in 2014. I started to work with uh, Barn Innovative in 2013. So I was not so deeply involved. I think uh, maybe Ms. Kitamura may know better how much time it took and if there were any potential pitfalls. But for me, it seemed to be very smooth. So there was no big issues dealing about the, the MOU, but this might be misleading. So um, <laughs> if you can maybe yeah. help here. Yeah. Uh, yes, um, please. Uh, in Jap Japanese government case, um, generally speaking, uh, three years uh, would be minimum. <laughs> oh, that's uh, long. But, yeah, yeah, but it depends on the the strength of partnership, but the, uh, uh, in Japan, uh, very conservative. <laughs> so even though uh, the MOU, <laughs> but uh, it will take time. <laughs> but uh, uh, the Metapharma by an innovative case is, I heard uh, it's very smooth, no pitfall. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Kitamura-san. 
And I think I would like to add that there is a history of our RIT program before uh, forging MOU between Bavaria and Saitama. So I, I assume uh, that it was, it should be smooth uh, if uh, when they uh, had an MOU signed. So I think it answered to the question. Okay, let me uh, move on to the next question. Uh, it's to uh, Frank San. Uh, it appears like very broad and deep cooperation. How many people are involved in the collaboration in total? Uh, seems like lots of coordinating. Congratulations. So this is a question. Yeah, of course. So you have to do a lot of uh, coordination and you have to take a lot of, of brain into it and see, okay, what companies um, could uh benefit from a from a delegation and which might be good uh companies we could bring the japanese guests to and, and also vice versa to find which might be good candidates to to bring over to satama as as potential partners um so I, I really cannot talk about number of people so it's it's two or three people from our side and that are in, involved uh with the with this partnership and but it's more that these two or three people really have to work very hard and concentrate and focus uh, to yeah to make these things happen and to prepare it and and to select the correct companies and they get into yeah, into discussion up front and and not to be surprised just yeah just pack two people and, and and send them over and see what's happening no we really have to yeah to spend some time to to make things successful um, but you cannot really say okay, it's 2 12 13 20 people so it's really focused on, on a few weeks uh, we really have to do your homeworks um to make a success possible thank you very much I hope this answers the question i think so i think so too so i would like to add one point that uh the local governments or the association like uh the Bavar bavaria innovative is involved, so they are players that coordinate everything for the businesses or the uh, stakeholders. So I think this is a point of the cooperation working very well. Uh, thank you very much. And I will move to the next question. Uh, it's also to Frank San. Uh, you mentioned regulations on the last slide, I remember. What are the main differences in the fields that you talked about what are the main differences so, so i think uh, there is some specifics to the healthcare sector about the regulations yeah of, yeah of course it, it's different it's a, it's a it's a different approach to for for, for regular regulations um so in in japan you have a, a centralized system we have to apply and um, this is different from, from the European way right now. We have notified bodies and where you do a lot on, on your own behalf, but of course you have to check with the, with the regulations and, and the international standards on the other side. Um, so it's very difficult some, to, to just in a few minutes point out the, the most important aspects. And to be honest, I'm not so well aware of, of how the regulations in, in Japan have been changing recently. I'm just aware that uh, they are have been changing on the on the European side. So with the introduction of the medical device regulation, which makes it a little bit more a little bit, <laughs> makes it more more difficult. You have to provide more or more data, more more clinical data, especially. And for uh, for foreign companies, they have to uh, announce a, a special person who is responsible for quality management for regulatory affairs and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make the point that you should not neglect this, but you should think about this up front and make the point that uh, this has uh, yeah, yeah, spent a lot of resources for our SMUs uh, within the last few years uh, to get this going, where they then due, due to that fact, usually they didn't have spare time to look for them. They tried to concentrate on the European market to yeah to align themselves with the new regulations and so it yeah but this is now in the phase of, of yeah going back to normal so this was just the point i would like to i wanted to make 
not wanting to discuss much about regulatory aspects and the specifications on one side or the other. Thank you very much. So I think the information exchange between the two sides are very important uh, for those regulations to have smooth cooperation, of course. Okay, thank you. And I would like to move to the next questions. This is for all speakers. Um, what is important for collaborations with foreign partners? This is very general question. And as some of the uh, points were mentioned during the, uh, the presentations, but if you wanna, uh, again, uh, talk about that, please answer to this question. Uh, maybe from uh, Suzanne-san. Yes, thank you. So, of course, um, we heard the most important uh, point when it comes to MedTech. Of course, you have to be aware of the different regulations from each country. But I think it's also very um, important for both sides to understand and know the culture of each other. Um, but for me, I think the most important thing will be you really need to be open. You really want to do this and you really need to listen to your partner and really be open. And then I think it can be quite, as you can see, smooth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Kitamura-san, you want to add uh, something from your side? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, the reliability. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, this is uh, important and also the if possible we like to meet physically mm. <laughs> yes not, not only online but also uh, in person and <laughs> yeah mm. yes uh i think kitamurasa mentioned in, during the presentation that they restarted the physical meetings between bavaria and saitama these months like last month and next month there will be uh meetings between them. So I think uh, we can expect more uh, exchange between the two sides. frank -san, you want to add something to this question? Yeah, um, just as I, as I mentioned during my presentation, I think it's very important um, to know about the other about the other side. So and I think um, for this purpose, I think um, um, Satama City Foundation for Business Creation and Bond Innovative are very important for for successful collaborations, um, because you you have to you have, there are so many questions and you 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 cannot answer them on your own. You just ask uh, Google or, or whatever. So you have to find the the right persons to answer your individual questions. And so if they have questions about Japan and the Japanese market, or um, care sector or whatever. Ask me, I say, okay, I don't know to be honest. So, but we have a partner uh, institute in on, on the Japanese side. So, I, I'll get you in contact with the Tama City Foundation, and they will be able to to give you all the information you need or help you with your with your questions. And so, I think this is this is very important. So, just an addition from my side. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I think we have covered all the questions from the floor and the time is uh, ticking. But I would like to ask one question for me. It's a very general question to, to Ms. Shirok. So is there a regular people-to-people -people exchange program between Saitama and Bavaria, either in the industrial or academic sectors? Because I, I, I'm asking this because I got the question from uh, someone prior to the uh, webinar. So I would like to bring up this question if there is any program. So, so you talk about um, like more like on a friendship basis? Yes, yes. Like, you know, if on a regular basis, like, you know, exchanging people like from two people annually or something like that, if there is any program. Not that I'm aware of. I was just uh, I was taking part at the visit from the mayor from Nuremberg, who came to visit um, Saitama in uh, end of end of last year. There was this Ikizena summit, so um, the mayor came and sat on on the panel. But if there are additional programs, um, I'm actually not aware of. So we are we we support um, yeah all the requests that come in from from Saitama side and of course from the Bavarian side. 
but I think nothing that has not been mentioned. Okay, thank you very much. So basically, delegation trip between the two sides are institutionalized, but uh, not a regular people-to-people -people exchange program yet. No. Maybe. Yet. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> yet. Maybe we can work on that. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Um, let me check the question box. Okay, so I think we have covered all the questions and this concludes this webinar. Okay, thank you very much for joining uh, today, uh, Kitamura-san, Shirok-san, and Fraga-san. And of course, uh, thank you. I would like to thank all the participants for joining us today. I hope you have, get, uh, you have got some takeaways from today's webinar. So if you have any questions uh, about today's webinar or Euraccess Japan in general, please don't hesitate to contact us at japan at euraccess.net. Also, the recording of the today's webinar will be uploaded to our YouTube channel once it's ready. We will continue this Shinkansen web, uh, Roadshow webinar series in the future. Uh, and besides this webinar series, we have a wide variety of events planned. So for more information, please visit our portal and follow us on SNS such as Facebook, Link, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Line. Uh, you can all, uh, access them from our portal too. Once again, thank you very much for joining us today, and we are looking forward to seeing you at our future events. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.